The road to 100 Platinums continues today. And today's Platinum is... You said it yourself, bitch. We're the Guardians of the Galaxy. 78% completed, 47 out of 59 trophies already done. I will be going over the trophies I already had at the very end, so make sure you guys stick around, leave a like, and subscribe, but let's Platinum this beautiful game. For the first trophy, I just wanted to get the hardest one out of the way, and that is Fashion Passion, find and equip all outfits. Now for this one, I had to figure out what outfits I had and what outfits I didn't have to really finish this entire trophy. Obviously, because you have to find all of them, so I don't know why I'm explaining that all. Gosh, this game was so beautiful. Like, That's my it, it was just a beautiful game. Oh. A really beautiful game. This game was gorgeous. My gosh, look at that. Like, it is just unbelievable what they made. And then they had Avengers. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the f- One of the ones I need, 2014 Rocket. There we go. And outfit number two that I needed. Whoa! That actually looks identical to her outfit. I'm so happy to actually have that in the game. I didn't know. I wish I would have had that outfit the entire time. I need to see what this looks like. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. That is so cool. Wow. They really do got it. Let's see what this thing looks like. This is... This is amazing. Just wow. Just... Ugh. It looks like, I actually like the game version better, but this is so cool. Like, everybody in my group now has a 2014 outfit. Please let me know down below what you guys think about the story in the game. I didn't even hesitate this time. I was just like, BOW! I don't understand. <laughs> no hesitation. Because I, I know that. what's going to happen. Stop it. <gasps> You're not my mom. Wow. That is one of the outfits? No way. That is terrible. Oh my gosh. That is funny though. This is funny. I'm not gonna lie. This is one of the funniest outfits. No, this is the funniest outfit in the game. It's his old school look. Oh, that's great. That's great. I might actually use this. One last one, I think. No. It ain't the last one. Damn. How many more do I got? Three more. Three more. Okay. Hi, guys. If you guys never played this game, it keeps you intrigued throughout the entire game. As you see Mantis, and there's many more other surprise characters. So, spoiler alert. Uh, skip ahead a little bit. I'll give you some time. Okay. And so, there's some special guests like Thanos, um, Adam Warlock. There's just so many cool characters in this game. But those are the three main I can name on the top of my head. Thanos looks terrible. I'm just gonna say that right now. I don't know what they were thinking. They got roasted for the way he looks in this game. I would definitely check it out, but they got roasted as soon as this game came out and people got to that part. It was all over Twitter. That's what it was called at the time. I feel like I'm getting old, but it just looked so bad and it was funny, but it was still cool to see him in a live video game for once, as far as I remember. But just getting these outfits and everything was a hassle. It was just kind of annoying to go through all of these missions over and over again to do these little outfits that I somehow, some way didn't get. And it was very shocking. But these amazing parts that keep you intrigued throughout the entire game were absolutely amazing. It was incredible. And that's why I fell in love with this game in the first place. Right there should be another trophy for you guys because you unlocked another ability for star lord's guns honestly just play the campaign have fun with it use characters abilities as much as possible and you should unlock a majority of the trophies like i said before it's just a fun game have fun with it what <laughs> what killed all of us the lab i was in the tests on me in tubes of water and it sucked it really, really suck. Sensory deprivation experiments on half world. I heard of those. Sensory deprivation was like a vacation compared to the other things. And that's why you hate getting wet. Mark, I had no idea. Don't make a big deal out of it. Just prefer to keep dry is all. Him talking about the experiments and after watching Guardians of the Galaxy 3 just hits so different now. Like, oh my gosh. Now here's another scene. That just, like, that was so depressing. 
to hear that. <laughs> We're the guardians of the galaxy. <clears throat> uh, this is where the last outfit is. Right there. The last outfit. And boom. Right? I think I got equipped them all now. So we'll just start with Drax. Okay. I guess I didn't. Wow, fashion. There we go. Trophy unlocked. In chapter 14 is when I got three trophies unlocked while finding the last outfit. But altitude adjustment was one of them. Defeat 20 enemies with Star-Lord's Eye of a Hurricane. This is one of his special abilities, so you have to have it unlocked. Go to chapter 14 in the very beginning. There are many enemies you can use this on. And just keep reloading the checkpoint. It's that simple. Cheat the system a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. Did, it, did he really just finish half of those guys off by himself? Boom. Boom. Reload checkpoint. That's what you gotta keep doing. You gotta kind of cheat the game a little bit here. Set him up and knock him down is another one you have to have unlocked when you're buying stuff throughout the entire game. It's another special ability with the guns. You just have to buy it. But defeat 15 staggered enemies with a charge shot. Push R2 or whatever the back button is on Xbox. I kind of forget because I don't play it anymore. But you double tap that thing. You charge up the weapon and BAM! You eliminate those enemies and you just have to do that 15 times throughout the entire game. Again, set them up, knock them down. Okay, you're done. You're done. Boom. That had to take out a couple of them. Don't, Drax. Yeah, you better not take my kill. Gamora, stop pop. Drax, no. Oh my gosh. Why do they gotta pop off like that? Jeez. Boom. Go off. Yes, there we go. Okay, that's the hurricane one. Trophy unlocked. Oh, there we go. Send him up and knock him down. <laughs> okay, I don't gotta worry about that. Now I gotta worry about the Gamora one. Train to perfection, Gamora special ability. You have to have it unlocked, obviously. I would just go through an entire chapter, look at the progression on what you have it already. I was at 60%. It was giving me trouble. It kept staying at 60%, so I just kept playing through the entire chapter. I eventually unlocked it. I will show you guys here in a little bit. Their train, okay, it just randomly unlocked when I was doing it. Like, maybe I just had to continue it without really knowing if that makes sense. But, unlocked. That's all I care about. Another trophy closer to platinum. Galactic Frugality? I hope I'm saying that right, but pay your Nova Corpse fine. This trophy can be obtained during Chapter 9, so I advise you to save everything during chapter two rather you sell Groot or sell rocket what? does not matter but keep all your money during chapter six also because you can spend a lot of money during chapter six to unlock another trophy i will be showing you guys after this but in order to pay your fine you must have anything between seven thousand and nine thousand credits available right. add an extra thousand to either one of those Confirm if you do not hide the llama during the game i would advise you to hide the llama and of course you want to hide the llama it's adorable you don't want to get it caught or anything it's a beautiful llama Flick Buster can be done first in Chapter 3, so I would just go automatically to that chapter. Go to Chapter 3, that's when you see these monsters, and you have to press Triangle Prompt when it pops up using Drax. If it doesn't happen right away, like if you don't think it's going to happen with Drax, I would just keep reloading this part of the game when it happens until you get this trophy. I was having so much trouble with this one. I had to reload probably four to five times until this trophy got unlocked. All these type of trophies where you have to do a certain call to action, it is just so annoying and it's so frustrating to do because it sometimes just doesn't pop up. Like the entire time I played this game, it didn't pop up for Drax or it didn't pop up for Groot. Like the last trophy I will be getting here soon to get platinum. Thoughtful Captain and Lore Hoarder were the ones I did not record for because I didn't know when they were gonna pop up, but it's collecting Guardian collectibles 
where most items are hidden throughout the entire game. And I just never knew when the trophies were going to pop up because my computer does not have that much storage. So I was not going to record the entire game when I have so many other videos to edit. But I got both of the trophies and I was happy because these ones were kind of tough. It was difficult and it was just frustrating to deal with because I had to play mostly throughout the entire game again. I thought Lore Hoarder was get all of the collectibles, but that's just 65% of the collectibles. So this one is where you get all the collectibles for one guardian. Another one where you have to use Drax to dismember a certain enemy. This one is so annoying because it's a call to action. I hate these, but it's just random pop-ups. I would just use your blasters until the action comes up. When the triangle pops up, hopefully Drax does the thing. Just hope Drax does the thing. If not, you know what to do. And that is go to your last checkpoint. Keep doing it over and over again, okay? Cheat the system. Last checkpoint if it doesn't pop up every single time. And it has to be on this enemy that you see in the video. I don't know how to say its name, okay? That's why I'm not saying it. I will admit it. By the way, you can also find this enemy the first time in Chapter 7. One last trophy to get platinum. Let's do this. Here we go, Groot! Give me that right away. Thank you. I, actually, I wasn't sure if I actually counted left, left, right, right. But this is what we do. Trophy earned. I could delete this game. I could delete this game. I'm done. I'm done. This is what we do. Trophy unlocked. Finally, I could delete this dang game. I don't want to show you guys how many platinums I have because I probably have many other videos I have to upload before, um, before I catch up to what you guys are going to see. But we're on the road to 100. When this is what we do here on the channel. You guys see it right there. Delete Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy. Probably will never play this game again. Honestly. Great game though. Fantastic. I'm not saying it's bad. Just a game I probably will never play again. I want to go over the trophy guide on Guardians of the Galaxy with you guys real quick. There are 29 story trophies. You cannot miss any of these. Especially self-improvement. Because this is a tutorial in chapter 1. It's right here. The trophy can be obtained during the ability points tutorial section in chapter one that's already 30 trophies unlocked for you guys this is a three out of ten difficulty not that hard at all could be done in one playthrough should take you about 20 hours honestly i think less than that i think you guys can get it done for sure within a day obviously there's 24 hours in the day but still i think 15 maybe 15 i didn't say 15 hours there are some missable ones so we will go over that you have you play this little mini game with rocket in chapter one to shoot more than him there's like these little bug things that shoot more than him get a higher score than him obviously we have the fashion one where you get all the outfits very missable and then you have the galactic one where you have to pay your fine you have to collect all of the stuff throughout the entire game that's lore you have to get seven or no 65 percent of the collectibles for the guardians then you obviously have this one where you have to collect another Guardians, find all the Guardian collectibles. And Thoughtful Captain is another collectible one. So you can knock out three of those easily if you just read stuff like right here. This one tells you where they all are. Chapter 1, Chapter 3, Chapter 7. It gives you all of the guides for Star-Lord, Rocket, Gamora, Drax, and obviously Groot. And I'm pretty sure there are plenty of videos on YouTube for this. And then you have your grinding ones where you have to defeat 20 enemies with Rocket special abilities, with Gamora special abilities, with Star-Lord, with Drax. Just use all of the abilities throughout the entire game. Like I said, have fun with this game and you will probably have 70 to 80% of trophies done by, your done by the time you're done with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this Platinum as much as I did. I love this game. It's so underrated. I have no idea why. But let me know what Platinum you guys want to see next down below. Thinking about doing Lego Marvel. I just don't want to be known as the Lego person only. Like, I don't want all my views just to come from Lego games. So if you guys can, drop a Lego game, but also another game that's not Lego related. But until next time, I'll see you beautiful people later. God bless everyone. Have a fantastic day and thank you for watching. <laughs>
is just so... Metal? Yeah. Glad you got your music back, Quill. Well, 